Hi, you're on Purpose Spot, and this is DevScoop, a rapid show and tell on anything around DevOps in at most three minutes. If this tickles your fancy, click the subscribe button. So let's get into it. In case you missed it, there was a bit of a scramble happening in the web in the last two weeks. And this was all because of a vulnerability found on Log4j, a popular logging framework for Java applications. And I think it is just fitting to talk about it today. So let's get drawing. The first thing that I'd like to talk about is LDAP. This protocol is used to very quickly find references to data or object. And because it is running on top of the internet protocol, I can actually set up a web proxy for an LDAP server that can be accessed from anywhere. So imagine I have a web proxy called mysite.me and I have a Java object called hackdata inside my LDAP server. I can obtain reference to this Java object by hitting the web proxy like this. Send this to the internet and eventually to the object that I want to access. Let's leave this illustration here and move to the other supporting actor in the scene, JNDI. This component is very specific to Java. It serves as a bridge for services to gain access to a set of data or objects. And JNDI has several implementations and one of which is LDAP. In the realm of Java, if I have a Java application right here, and it needs object reference to the hack data object. All I need to do is code inside my Java application a call to JNDI URL. The request will pass through JNDI and then through the internet and then allows me access to the object that I want to access. And for the key actor of the scene, log4j, it is widely used because of its capability to provide ways of setting dynamic and meaningful log information. So for example, Log4j processes this log string and evaluates and executes whatever is inside the dollar curly braces. So in this case, it's pulling out the appropriate information for the Java runtime. Now let me go back to my drawing. This is where the hack happens. Imagine there is a website that has a backend system that is built using Java and uses Log4j framework. So let's call this website globalenterprise.com. In some instances, information about request headers and some payloads are logged by the application. And so the hacker can take advantage of header fields like user agent and then override these values. Or the simplest possibility is Global Enterprises backend is logging the value passed by a user in an input field. For example, imagine Global Enterprise website has a form with a comment field and their backend logs the value passed by the end user. What the hacker would do is input a comment with a string that points to a JNDI LDAP URL and submit the form. The request goes to global enterprise system and gets processed by the backend. And so behind the scenes, the process hits log4j for logging. Log4j will perform a lookup and evaluate the JNDI string passed in the comment field. This then passes through JNDI, goes to the internet, and then the LDAP server, which will eventually hit the malicious object that the hacker wants to run inside the global enterprise system. This gets downloaded inside global systems. And the object can then start running malicious activities from potentially gaining access to the system's data, or in a more serious case, gain control of the entire system. This vulnerability affects specific versions of Log4j. And so it is important to patch affected systems by upgrading to a higher version of the framework. And that's my three minutes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, happy holidays.